Okay, so it has been almost a full month since I started taking Mega Straw. So in my last video, I had gotten my top braces, I believe. Um, I went through a whole entire week of pain, and then I got my bottom braces on, and went through another week of pain. Uh, so that really kind of counteracted with my ability to eat and put on weight and so I was losing weight again um, but now things have uh, steadied out for me it went from I was always hungry and so I would just like I needed food right I felt like I needed food right then and there so I would go for like the fastest easiest thing whether it was snacks or fast food um, and then after a while my body was like okay you're not starving anymore and I would be able to just sit down and eat like a bigger meal three times a day and then have my protein shake with it after my workout um, and now this morning I was like 96 pounds um, but, you know, it, it fluctuates with a few pounds, like some days I'm 94, some days I'm 98, you know. It just, I don't really pay attention to the numbers as much as I do, just making sure I'm eating. Um, and then I've been, you know, working out with it, and that's really helped to kind of counteract with putting on so much fat in like bad sections like uh you turn 30 and all of a sudden everything wants to go to your midsection um which i'm also going to talk more about that in a little bit so but i wanted to really go over the side effects of this medication in this video and i, I haven't done that before because i didn't actually notice any side effects and then this past week I realized, hey, these things have been going on and they're not going away. So it leads me to believe that it is the medicine causing these issues, or not all of them are actually issues. Um, so I'm going to start with the good and then the bad. So the good thing is, obviously, I have an appetite, I'm eating, I'm eating good, um, I'm putting on weight. It's helping me with my workouts. It's giving me energy um, to be able to do that and all that. Um, what I wasn't expecting is my doctor, because I had discussed with him. If you look at my first video, you can see it was a lot closer up. Um, I was having really bad hormonal acne. And it's something that just didn't seem to ever go away. I would get like a week out of the month where I wasn't breaking out because it would start a week before my period would start, I would break out and that would last until my period was over. And then it would clear up and then I would ovulate and start breaking out again. And it was just, you know, it just seems so ridiculous of being 32 years old and covered in acne. Um, so I asked my doctor, like, can we do something about this? And he had mentioned, once you get your weight settled, we'll put you on a progesterone-only birth control. Um, but then I looked online, and Megastrol is actually, it says it's man-made progesterone. And I haven't had a single pimple since I started taking it. Like, I used to get pimples on my back like on the side of my neck, on my face, obviously. Um, but I haven't had anything since I started taking it. My skin is not only looks clearer and it's clearing, like I haven't had any acne, but it's just like the whole entire texture of it is changing for the better. Um, and then my hair and my nails, actually feel a lot better too like my hair I feel like it's more manageable um, and then my nails I know they're like a really hot mess right now because I'm a mom and I do gardening and I do cooking and I do cleaning and everything and I'm kind of 
lacy. So my nails actually are growing. And I mean, of course, they would grow before because I was taking biotin or whatever to try to get them to grow. But they were really weak and brittle, so they would just break off after a certain point. Um, but now I just, I haven't had any issues with that, you know, and they feel, they feel strong. Um, so, good side effects, you know. I, I feel like it's really helped uh, with my hormone issues or, yeah. So, um, for the bad side effects, so one thing about this medication is I feel like it has really messed with my GI tract. Um, So when I wake up in the morning, I have a flat belly. I feel good, like I don't have any issues. And then the moment I drink water, anything, I blow up. It's like someone that has inflated an inner tube inside of me. Like this morning, I haven't eaten anything yet. I came in here, I worked out, I had a pre-workout and my water. And that's it. And I already just, I feel so bloated. And it's like I'm in a constant state of bloatingness. Um, and that's because I'm just filled with so much air. Like I'm really gassy, constantly burping, having like acid reflux when I'm laying down at night. And it's just really uncomfortable. Right there, I burped. So. Especially when I eat, because I'm eating really big meals. Like, I can eat a huge portions at a time now. Um, and it just makes my stomach huge. And so I've had to start taking probiotics and gas X and fiber because it's made me constipated. Like, I'm eating a lot faster and a lot more food than my body can digest at a time and it's just that part of it has been a complete nightmare i don't like it one bit um but i mean what am i gonna do like this the the for me the pros outweigh the cons like i just i have to eat and this is what happens when i take this medicine that makes me eat um also, I was talking about hormonal acne and everything like that, and I'm like, okay, like usually a week before I get my period, I start breaking out. And I haven't started breaking out. Well, I also haven't got my period this month yet, um, which I can't have kids. Um, I'm not pregnant. I can't have babies anymore. I already have four. Uh, so I just, I don't know what's going on with that either um which i mean i don't mind not getting a period for me that's pretty fucking great <laughs> no no girl likes having a period but at the same time it's not healthy to not get a period so you know um but i think that covers the good and the bad so far of what i've been experienced while been experiencing while taking this um, overall, I think for me, it's, I, I don't care about the bad side effects. I just, like, I need it. I just, um, I don't like feeling like I'm starving myself or my body's shutting down or whatever. Anyways, that, I don't want to get into like all the details and rambles and blah blah blah. So yeah, I think that pretty much covers the last four weeks. Can't really think of anything else to say. Um, and so I guess I will just leave it at that. Um, oh wait, hold on. Just thought of something. The last side effect, bad side effect, I cannot sleep at night. I don't know 
what it is. Um, and I don't know if it is the medication or if it's just my body being freaking stupid because my body is always stupid. Um, but, you know, I go to work, I come home, I work out, I cook dinner, I'm running around, like I'm very active. And then I lay in bed and I toss and turn for hours and hours and hours and hours. And I just, like, I'm getting two to three hours of sleep. Like, you could tell I am freaking tired. Um, and then, you know, something wakes me up. Like, I fall asleep, something wakes me up, and I can't go back to sleep, which is completely different for me because I used to be able to just be like, okay, and fall right back to sleep. Wake up, fall right back to sleep. Um, so, yeah, that part of it really sucks because, like, my body is running on fumes, and thank God I can eat because it's giving me nutrition and nutrition has energy, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, as you can see, um, I'm looking healthy. Um, my butt is getting bigger. I just wish this would grow without this growing. <laughs> A girl could only dream, right? Anyways, that's it. Um, I'll show you. Like you can see, these are just acne scars. Like you see where I used to, where I was breaking out. Well, those are, I think those are sunspots. Um, but yeah, I haven't had any new breakouts. It's just acne scars. You can see how tired I am. <sighs> okay. I think my eyebrows are growing in more. That's pretty cool. Um, so I think my doctor kind of solved two, bir two birds, one stone. Yay. Okay, anyways, I'm going to go. Sorry. <laughs>